Rumor Honeybottoms is a very unique and different fight compared to all the other bosses in the game. This can cause people to still have problems fighting her, since you don't really get her style of gameplay from any other boss. So I decided to make a guy to beat her. Sadly, there aren't many tricks you can do for this fight, but the least I can do is explain what you can do and what's used to make this fight much easier. So the loadout I personally use to S-rank this boss is a homing attack, spread, energy beam, and either parry sugar or heart ring. In my opinion, the charm is really not as important to this fight, so really use whatever charm you are comfortable with. But I advise using parry sugar if the parries are something you struggle with, and heart ring just allows you to have that extra 2 HP buffer you get from meeting the parry requirement without having the decreased damage of the other heart charms. That's pretty much it, so let's get into this fight. The first phase is quite simple, but is a very important phase to get most if not all of our parries for the fight. In this phase, Rumor sends out a security bee after the players. The security bee will pull bee bombs from his pocket and then drop them. These bombs explode after a 5 second delay and their detonation releases 8 spikes, 4 of which can be parried. We will need to position ourselves accordingly in order to parry one of these spikes. Just hold your homing attack and focus on getting as many parries as you can during this phase. It's generally a good idea to be on the opposite side of the security bee when you can, so don't try to play too risky when it comes to getting every parry from each bomb you can. If anything, you could stall for a bit in order to wait until you can get all three parries since the time requirement is generally not a problem. The platforms do often get in the way of the parries, which is where parry sugar shows its use. Instead of having to go above or time your parry in positioning really well, you can just jump into the parry spike and you got it. Other than that, it's really about being good at parry timings and positioning, which can be a great struggle for some. But for those who can get the parries quite easily, Heart Ring proves very useful in keeping you in the fight despite taking a hit or two. You can always get more parries during the Rumor's second phase, but you're not guaranteed the pink triangle attack that gives you parries that actually count towards the parry requirements. Breaking news! I figured out you can actually parry the pink sphere or triangle and they count towards the parry requirement. I repeat, they count towards the parry requirement. These types of parries usually never get counted towards the parry requirement, but it seems things have changed. In this case, you wouldn't need to bother getting parries during the first phase if you can get three during the second phase. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. Well, there really isn't much else to say about this phase. Oh yeah, there are worker bees that fly around from time to time, but they literally have no health, so the homing attack will dispose of them very quickly. The second phase is really not that difficult once you understand that you don't necessarily need to be greedy dealing damage and just chill out once in a while. I'm going to assume most people struggle with the bee missile attack. Rumor shows up in the middle, dropping her head down to the bottom of the screen, which is connected by a chain to her body. She chews and spits out around 4 bee missiles on both sides that cover the entire arena in an S-like pattern. This is the one phase you want to try dealing the most damage if you can by using spread and shooting her body. Once a bee missile starts getting closer in height towards you, just drop down a platform or jump over the missile and you should be fine. Now she can cast two other attacks, a pink sphere or a pink triangle. The pink sphere once cast simply follows you around and drifts off screen after some time. You can continuously parry it which gives you heart ring value and a way to get away from it by parrying it and dashing away. The pink triangle drifts towards the player in a straight line until it goes off screen and shoots smaller pink triangles from each tip. Of course, you can parry the big triangle and the smaller triangles too. Rumor repeats these three attacks and that's all for this phase. There aren't really any tricks for the pink sphere or triangle, so just try to keep your distance. For the third phase, Rumor flips through her spellbook and does whatever this is, turns into a frickin' fighter plane, and flies downwards off screen and reappears at the bottom of the screen. Now luckily when she is flipping through her book, you can still do massive damage with spread and energy beam, so make sure to use energy beam here if you haven't already. And definitely just use crackshot after she turns into a fighter plane. She has two attacks during this phase. Rumor can move back and forth and attack by firing off fist missiles and then move in a weird swirling motion to throw you off, which will come back towards you, so watch out for that. There's not much more to say than just use Crackshot so you don't need to pay attention to where you're shooting and pay attention instead to the missiles in order to dodge them accordingly. Rumor can also lean to either side and turn that side's wing into a buzzsaw to slice up players if they are above her, which is telegraphed by her leaning to the side of the stage and the sound of a buzzsaw revving up. Simply just move to the other side and you'll be fine. Well sadly that's all I have to say about Rumor Honeybottoms. She just doesn't have many tricks you can exploit and is more dependent on the player's skill in order to S rank her. I still wanted to go through what I do in order to S rank her, so I hope this video was of some help to you. And I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to support the channel. I'll leave you off with an unedited playthrough of Rumor Honeybottoms, so I hope to see you in the next video. So the loadout I'm going to be using is Crackshot, Spread, Energy Beam, 
and pea sugar because although a heart ring has definitely some use here, pea sugar definitely sh uh, shines in the first phase. It makes the parry so much easier. And although you could, you still can get quite cucked from the uh, platforms, uh, it makes them so much easier by just you just jump into them. So let's get into it. And uh, yeah, so crack shot is definitely all I would use for this phase because it, there's just no rush in time. Just take your time. It, it, this phase actually goes by pretty fast anyways, uh, even with crack shot. So I can't even imagine how fast it would go with spread or something. But uh, just stay from the opposite side on the security bee if you can. Uh, it's not like you have to, but like it's it's just more recommended if you want if you don't want to risk like taking hits. It's just advised. No, nothing you have to do. But if you're having struggles, then you should might as well try to alleviate all the struggles you can. These parries these parries are really as simple as just jumping into them. Uh, I do have super, and I think I'm just gonna use it during this phase. Honestly, I'm just gonna go. Boop. Um, yeah, that's gonna be triangle. Uh, that's not too hard. I actually prefer the triangle over the sphere. Maybe that's just me though. Okay, and this we want to try doing as much damage to your body as possible, but it's not necessary at all if you don't want to. Do not feel stressed out if you don't want to. I just just don't drop down the platform so this beam missile doesn't hit me. Uh, let's do some spread damage here. It's gonna be sphere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she always alternates. She doesn't. I don't think she, it's. I don't know if I mentioned it, but she definitely cannot do the same spell twice. Like she can't do triangle, B missile attack, then triangle. Like she can't do that. Uh, okay, stay away. I don't know if that does damage, so just be careful. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna stay in the middle. Uh, Ex before I forget. Just that way. Okay, so all the way to the right. Missiles. Uh, missiles. Fist missiles. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna take my time here. Uh, these missiles are quite weird, I'm not gonna lie. But it, it's, if you're paying attention to them, then it's not that big of a deal. There you go. Uh, I should have gotten everything there. Yeah, my super, got three puries, uh, HP. Yeah, I think it should be good here. Let's see the time bonus. Yeah, 140. That's actually quite, considered quite a long time. Uh, it, you sh this fight should definitely not take you two minutes, for sure. But uh, I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you all in the next video.